Hello Aries and welcome to your monthly reading. This is for Aries. All right, Aries, let's see what's going on. If this resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Aries, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Aries out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa interchangeable so however it resonates with you this is for aries this is for aries what does aries need to know what does aries need to know what does aries need to know okay hmm There you are. Wow. Okay. So, man, you've been really in your head about this situation. Um, let me tell you, you got some, uh, a new, uh, like a opportunity coming in some sort of a partnership or, or maybe even property or something. Um, but it's happening and you're going to be back on top of your game very very soon in regards to love um i'm going to dive deep into the love reading first and then we will look at this uh, money situation this career situation whatever the case may be after for those of you that are interested and then we're going to take a look at uh, a message we're going to pull you an oracle card get you a message from the universe oh nothing's moving right nothing is happening uh just standing still it's like you're at that i see you at that crossroads and then something beautiful is is coming in for you and you're going to feel damn good about it um it's like rushing towards you pursuing you and giving you a lot of attention here um so it's like you've been so so worried like love is it like the right person isn't going to find you i strongly feel that this is someone that you've uh you may possibly with all these pinnacles here possibly are working with or going to school with some sort of practical everyday thing uh, you're an acquaintance with somehow, some way on your everyday thing, on your everyday routine. This is someone that I feel has sparked your interest. And you've just been kind of standing still waiting for them to come to you. It's like this crush you've got and it's happening. Okay. Um... It's like we're finally at the the door to communication is opening. And I feel like after a lot of looking at each other, you're very attracted to this person. They're very attracted to you and they're going to pursue. Um, but you're, you're going to take your time to get to know them. So this stuck feeling like nothing's moving. Oh, there is going to be movement here. Eight of uh, swords. So you're leaving the past behind and you've been kind of looking for someone that's going to captivate you. Maybe you haven't been feeling like, you know, I don't know, I'm not really interested in anybody. And then all of a sudden there's this situation brewing here in your practical everyday routine. All right. And um, the party gets started. So... But you've been at that crossroads, and, and, and I feel like you've wanting to leave a lot of emptiness behind, things that were not um, satisfying to you, and you've been kind of, you know, looking around. And there's someone, um, if this isn't already developing for you, it will be. There's someone that really... 
Ooh, captivate your attention. Let's put it that way. Eight of Cups. So no more of this stagnant, standing still energy. It strongly feels like, yeah, the past didn't work out the way that I wanted it to, but I'm just at a standstill. Nobody is really doing it for me type of feeling. This one's really going to do it for you. All right. You, you, you're going to like what you see if you're not already liking what you see. And they like what they see too. So all of this standing still is done. Whoa. Yeah, so there's great potential here with this Two of Cups, and um, it's it's mutual. It's going to be a lot more balanced than where you're coming from. This could potentially be a soulmate situation brewing for you, Aries. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. I feel like this is going to be your next big situation. Two of Cups right there. All right, so... Here comes the offer, and it's real, it's genuine. It took their sweet ass time getting here with that Knight of Pentacles. I mean, that horse is slow, but it's real and it's sincere. And I strongly feel, again, in your everyday routine, whether this is work related, work acquaintance, um, running to, into them at whatever your daily routine is. Maybe some of you are going to school with this person. Or will be right you see them you like them and I feel like you're gonna be kind of strutting your stuff so we got the knight of Pentacles and the six of wands here and again some sort of school or work related or everyday routine related right it starts off like that you start the conversation and you see the potential here with this Ten of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. I say the cards for our vision impaired subscribers, okay, just so that you know. That's why I say every card. Um, so there's huge potential here, um, but it is tied to these Pentacles, right? It is tied to these Pentacles. That's what I want to say. So. You've been at that crossroads, right? And you're just so done with the past and just standing still, waiting for somebody to captivate you. And um, they have. So you're going on a new adventure with that Two of Wands here. And you're feeling damn good about it. Here you are. They're going to pursue you. So I feel like you're going to be kind of strutting your stuff and, you know, giving him the eye or whatever. And um, this is you all day. You could be dealing with another Aries or somebody with Aries in their chart. You're nervous. You're nervous. But that's okay. It, sometimes it feels good to be nervous. It gets you on your toes, right? Um, and you're worried. Like, it, are they, you know, picking up my vibe? Are they feeling what I'm feeling? I feel like they are. Because they are going to hop on this horse. This is not a player type energy. Okay, this might be a little bit. They might be a little bit on the wild side. But this isn't a player type energy with these. With this here. There's potential here. So what they're going to do is they also like what they see. And they're going to be in pursuit. Here they come. I am pursuing the Aries. Knight of Wands here. So will they will they ask you for coffee, for lunch, for dinner, whatever? They want to spend time with you? Yes. Three of Cups here. Is this going to be a reason to celebrate? Yes. And it starts with, hello, maybe you make up a little excuse to talk to them. Hey, can you help me with this? And that's all and that it gets the ball rolling here so some sort of practical everyday way that you communicate with this person gets the ball rolling page of pentacles please clarify the page of pentacles for aries So you're very, very curious, but you've made up your mind, right? So I feel like it, 
definitely could be divinely guided because the past is just so draining for you and you know your 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 angels your ancestors might be behind this particular um situation brewing here very curious but you don't want to move towards them they you want them to move towards you and they will so i feel like everybody's making up their mind to get this ball rolling and see where this uh, pursuit goes and there's great potential here okay in regards to this money situation I strongly feel like the, a decision in regards to abundance, possibly property here with that Ten of Pentacles, is going to go in your favor. The offering is to you. A decision is being made this opportunity. So, and I'm not sure why I want to say property, but it's coming to you. Um, if it's not like a property thing, it's um, a, a new opportunity, all right? So there is uh, maybe partnerships involved in this. Um, feels like more than one person is involved in this. An elevation, right? Um, and that's a beautiful thing. If it is a new job opportunity, you could be like teaching something, showing something, speaking something. Um, so that's a good thing. But I, and it could be a couple different things going on here with you, Aries. But it's like you're at that crossroads. What do I do here? Where am I going? What what decisions are going to be made? The decisions are going to be in your favor, and your money is definitely improving. You're going to be hearing about this. The decision is yours and you are going to be hearing about this good money news, whether this is property related or career related. All right. You're worried. You're worried that it's not going to go in your favor. It is going to go in your favor. This information is coming to you and you are going to be on top of your game. Um, this could have been like, uh, you don't know, you're kind of lost and confused. Everything's standing still taking time to make this decision but it's like i said it feels like more than one person involved here like a partnership or something but it is yours and there's this waiting period that's absolutely driving you freaking out of your mind but this news is going to be a reason to celebrate whether this is a new career opportunity that brings the money in or some sort of property situation going on the decision has been made and the news it is yours okay so thank thank god all right so let's pull you an oracle card this is for aries what does aries need to know what does aries need to know this is for Aries. What does Aries need to know? Let's see. We have love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So this is definitely speaking in regards to this, this relationship here brewing for you. You got love coming. You've got love coming towards you, Aries. And good money news. So that's a beautiful thing right and we're going to leave it we're going to leave it right there i hope that resonates with some of you most of you all of you you can now follow me on all the socials i'll leave those links down below in the description box you guys have a beautiful day and a great week and i will talk to you soon take care and god bless